Good morning. This is Gloria Keith with Action Speaks again, reading to you from research studies and history on the gifted to authenticate the production of my new book, Every Child Born Gifted. And during these sessions, of course, we will also uh, inform you of the um, biblical and the scientific uh, research and studies that have been done, that we've done in order to authenticate the production of every child born gifted. So let's continue the reading with Beyond Deficit Thinking, Providing Access for Gifted African American Students, Underrepresentation in Gifted Education. How did we get here? And what needs to change? The author is Michelle Frazier Trotman, uh, Geographical Co., 1 USA, date January 1, 2002. Publication, Roper Review, ISSN number 0278-3193. Okay, and in this study there we will show concern for the underrepresentation of black students in gifted programs dates back to Jenkins 1936 studies of black students with high intelligence scores, test scores, who were not formally identified as gifted. Lehman has continued with each decade since. Hmm, this is 2012. So, do your math. For instance, in 1950, the Educational Policy Commission noted the tragic waste of black talent. We will continue on with the deficit ideology, limiting access and opportunities. The less we know about each other, the more we make up. Of course. Reactions of differences among students manifest themselves in various ways, and they exert a powerful influence in educational settings. Boykins, 1994, and others have studied the, studied the culture of styles of African American students, noting such characteristics as verb, mobility, or oral tradition, communalism, spirituality, and effect. As table three, of course, there will be tables in the end or in, included in this study. As table three illustrates, deficit thinking can exacerbate uh, misunderstandings of these cultural characteristics. For example, verb and movement, tactile, and connect kinesthetic preferences may be misinterpreted as hyperactivity and affective orientation may be misinterpreted as immaturity or rationality and low cognitive ability and communalism may be interpreted as social dependency and immaturity. Also see Ford Howard Harris and Tyson, 2000. Ideas about racial backgrounds influence the development of definitions, policies, and practices designed to deal with differences. For instance, Gold, 1981-1995, and Machakas, 1997, noted that deficit thinking contributed to past and no doubt current beliefs about ethnicity and intelligence. Gold led readers back two centuries to demonstrate how to priori uh, assumptions and fears associated with different ethnic groups, particularly African Americans, led to conscious fraud, dishonest and prejudicial research methods, deliberate miscalculization, mis miscalculations, or miscalculations, I'm sorry, convenient omissions, 
and data interpretations among scientists studying intelligence. These early assumptions and practices gave way to the prevailing belief that human races could be ranked in a lineal scale of mental worth as evidenced by Cyril Burr's, Burr's uh, Paul Brokaw's and Samuel Martin's research on research. Goal 1981, page 86. Later, as school districts faced increasing ethnic and racial diversity, often attributable to immigrations, educators resorted to increased reliance on standardized tests, biased standardized tests which almost guaranteed low, low test scores for immigrants and culturally diverse groups who are unfamiliar with U.S. customs, traditions, values, norms, and languages. As Gold 1995, Hiller 1992, and others noted, the tests measured familiar, familiarity with American culture and English proficiency, not intelligence. In this respect, intelligence testing became a theory of, limited, of limits for diverse populations. Gold, 1995. Gold, 1981. Lichen. Gold, 1981. Like in current intelligence testing practices to the historical practices of chronology and chronometry, chronometry rather. The misuse of mental tests is not inherent in the idea of testing itself. It arises primarily to fallacies eagerly embraced by those who wish to use tests for, for the maintenance of social ranks and distinctions. Page 185 of the study. We shall continue to read on the deficit orientation uh, in our next session. This is all we have for you today and hopefully the information will be very helpful for you on learning more about the gifted our giftedness in the USA. May God bless you. I will continue these sessions until God says different. May God bless you again. Uh, this is Gloria Keith with Action Speaks. Bye-bye.